them at 119 wins, meaning if we get one more win, we get a League Series 1 Deluxe 20 pack box, but most importantly, a 20 pack box of the full throttle packs. And this could be crazy, because in these packs, there's a Diamond Russell Westbrook, and I actually have this card. I love him so much, which means if I was able to pull him, I could actually sell this version that I've been using for so long for like 240k, which I would be super happy with. Then there's also this Diamond Wilt Chamberlain, who looks like such a monster. And finally, there's this pink diamond LeBron James. And man, oh man, do I want this card? Because what, he's six foot nine. And look at the stats. Like, yes, he came out day one of my team, but he's still one of the best cards in the game that I actually want the most. And there's actually none of him on the auction house. Even with super packs out, there's none of him out. So this is the card that we want the most. And then there's obviously all of these diamonds right here, which actually are quite good, but I mainly want this man so badly. So that's right. All we have to do is win this next game of the showdown mode to be able to get both of those boxes. You can see I'm 30. 39 and 6, four tier one wins this season, which definitely isn't too bad. I mean, I'd have to play a lot more games to actually get on the leaderboards, but 39 and 6, I'm pretty happy with that. That's an 86.7% win rate. And literally all we have to do is win this next game to get these boxes. Obviously, you guys can see my team right here. It looks so good. We've got this Jamaran, Manu Ginobili, Bruce Bowen, Pascal Siakam, and Greg Oden in the starters. But then low key, I absolutely love my bench as well with all these players here. So all we need now is for this team to play well. So then we can get those boxes and hopefully we can get lucky so anyway it's time to see if we can win this game i'm excited and without further ado let's get into it and here we go my opponent's team is actually really good he's only got 13 wins though i don't know why whenever i record these games i literally never go against players in tier one but you can see that i definitely do play players in tier one by showing my leaderboard just before but against sydney weeks this time let's take it all the way with pascal like i do get quite a few comments of people saying like why are you playing against these types of players i don't know why it happened has he quit already there's actually no way Okay, no, he hasn't. Good. I was going to say, but I don't know why whenever I record for some reason, I it takes forever for me to get into a game. Then when I finally get into a game, it's someone that has only played like 10 games. Don't ask me why, but it's just a co coincidence. Anyway, and good news, I'm not complaining because we have had some sweaty games today. I had to play quite a few to be able to actually get this box, but this is the final one that we have to play. And this one does seem like it's about to be a bit easier than the rest of them. Manu Ginobili this time, that's a tough take, but he made it too. And just like that, that's it done. Okay. Look, I did not expect it to be that easy, but just like that, we got our final win. As long as everything counted, it will mean we've completed the showdown mode. Come on, come on, come on. Is this going to work? Yes, it does. And look at what we get. Season one, 120 showdown wins prize. There we go. We've got both of those boxes to open up and this could be crazy. As you can see, every single one of these has been completed. We also finish off our weekly rewards, which we'll get in just over 24 hours. But now what? If I come to challenges, apparently I've completed something here too. No, I have not. It's just glitching. If we go over to exhibitions, we've completed that. But if we go to the pack market, then we go into our unopened packs. We've got these two boxes right here. We're just going to go straight into the League One Deluxe box. This is unauctionable. And to be honest, there's not really anything I want out of it just because I'm pretty sure I've got every single Amethyst unauctionable already. But in good news, given we've now got the new patch, we can actually put these players in the exchange if we have them unauctionable. And getting an Amethyst straight away is actually a W. I think there might be one player. Maybe it's Luca or something like that that I don't have unauctionable. I know I have LeBron. I know I have Anthony Davis. So which one's this going to be? Is it going to be like Luca? It's going to be Shaggy with Alexander. Do I have him unauctionable? I actually don't think I do. If we don't, that's a huge W. He's also one of my favorite players. And hey, for this only being pack number two, I will definitely take that. And getting a Ruby as well. If it's the gems of the game player, it's even better. It's Jalen Brunson. And that's the thing. We just take these players. We can quick sell them at the end, no matter what, or we can put them in exchanges. The one thing I will say, if you guys are opening up these boxes, be be sure to look at the badges that you can pull because some of the badges can actually sell for a lot of MT. I know like gold on ball mana sells for like 5,000 MT. So if you pull a badge like that, it's actually huge. In kind of frustrating news, you don't get a badge every pack. Badges are actually kind of rare to see this one. We get post riser and rise up, not bad. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for out of these packs because even though this box is unauctionable, the badges are things that you can sell. So I guess that's a positive out of that. But as I said, I don't really care too much for this box. The main thing that we're looking for is definitely that full throttle box to see if we can actually get that pink diamond on LeBron James. Because could you imagine? Could you imagine after 120 wins, which is a lot of wins in the showdown mode, if we're actually able to get that shake and get our first pink diamond pull of NBA 2K25? I can't believe how long it's taken. Well, we haven't even done it yet, but I can't believe how, how long we've had to wait 
to actually hopefully see one and how we actually haven't pulled one yet. But if the first one is out of a free box, I will not complain. Gold Challenger is a badge we just got there, which is actually a really good one to pull once again. Another ruby. We'll take it, I guess. We get two rubies. Definitely not too bad. Then the next button pack up, number 16. Yeah, I, look, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty boring what we're getting right here. At least we got one amethyst. I'm hoping it's not unauctionable, the one that I have already. But no matter what, we can probably quick sell this box for a little bit. As we get Ruby Jarmorant, who I love to see because I love his pink diamond card. But we're getting to the latter stages of this box. We've only got one more pack after this one. So number 19, not great. Just a gold. It is a gems of the game card being Aaron Williams, who I've never heard of in my life. Final pack of this box. We got one shake. We get a couple rubies. I'll definitely take that. So what, I could quick sell all of this for 15K almost. And yeah, we actually didn't have shake. So that was a win. Did I have jar? No, I didn't. Okay. Kyrie. Oh, no. Can I add these to... I can add them to the 87 plus exchange. I think I'm just going to quick sell them all instead. So from that, we made a little bit of MT. We got quite a few cards as well. But now it's time for this box right here. Our 20 pack full throttle box. This day one did cost about 200,000 VC to open. I did do a huge pack opening on that. And I think the only diamond I pulled was from memory this Kevin Duckworth. So we didn't get super lucky, but I tell you what, if we we're able to pull this LeBron James, I will go crazy. Then I did actually pull this Russell Westbrook a couple of pack openings after when I just did a random box. So I'll be happy to get him too. I just at least want to see one diamond or higher. So be sure to smash that like button to wish me luck for this box. And now it's time to open up and also be sure to go in the comments if you have opened up this box yourself. If you have got the 120 wins, let me know the best pull that you were able to get out of these packs because I don't know. I'm excited. Like 120 wins is a lot. And at the start of the season, at the start of 2K25, I was kind of looking at how many wins that was. And I was like, wow, I don't think I'm going to get there. But then because showdown is now only four minute quarters, I actually didn't find it too hard to reach that point. We do get a new balance diamond shoe there. And as I say, pretty much every single time getting diamond shoes is actually kind of rare. But all we want to see is shakes because there is a chance that it's going to be an NBA series one player. But if it's not, it means it's guaranteed to be a shake from the full throttle set. Because that's the thing I kind of liked about this pack drop is we didn't have gold cards. We didn't have things like that. It was literally just diamond or bust. I feel like for future sets, I'd like to see amethyst and only diamonds and then obviously pink diamonds and things like that too, because seeing gold cards, opening deluxe packs to get gold cards really doesn't excite me too much, but this box hasn't been great. As we all know though, it can change in one pack. Literally one pack can change this entire thing and we could get something crazy if we're able to just see one single shake. So number 10, halfway through, this isn't good. I also completed this like just over, just over 24 hours until the season was gonna end. So we really hit, did a buzz beater to be able to get this box full throttle, make it worth it for me, please. As we get Keith Edmondson. I've got no idea who that is, but we will take it. And now for number 13, bro, I, I don't know how lucky I'm feeling. Like, what do you think? Do you actually think we're gonna get something good from this box? Do we actually think we're gonna see a shake? You gotta remember my luck this season, my luck so far in 2K25 has been awful. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this is the box we're getting so far for 120 wins in the showdown mode. Can you believe that? 120 wins and it's looking like we're not even gonna get a ruby. I don't think we've even said a ruby. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this might be one of the worst rewards you guys have ever seen. Like I actually think... Yo, W. Ruby Michael Malone goes for so much MT. I can't believe I'm getting excited over a coach card, but this is auctionable and he goes for a lot. I think he goes for about 50K, which is probably worth more than some of those diamonds. And even if we did pull a diamond, the diamonds were unauctionable. So I know it's weird. We get Alperin Sengun, who does have a diamond in this. But our final pack, I can't believe because of a ruby coach... And a diamond at the end. If this is Russell Westbrook or Wilt Chamberlain, I am so happy. I actually kind of forgot it could be one of those two cards. If this is Russell Westbrook, I literally make about 200,000 MT because then I can sell my one. Please, please. If this will be so good, literally so good. If it's either Wilt or Russ, please be one of those cards. Please don't be one of the other inserts that I don't really care for. Let's flip it and see what card this is actually going to be. Wilt Chamberlain or Russell Westbrook, please. Come on, let's see like a point guard stats. Western Conference, that's what we need to see. 88 agility, maybe. It's red. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It's going to be what? Jerome Kersey, who I did use quite a lot when he came out. Unfortunately, now, I don't think I will. We had to see like a gray color on the gem for it to be the Rockets. But I'll definitely still take a free diamond from this box. To get that on pack number 20, that's actually a W. And what? Then we can quick sell all the rest of these cards. Well, I have to be careful, actually. We have to send this to my auctions. Let's go send coach to my auctions. And now let's quick sell the rest for 15K. Yeah, if we come over to what? My auctions right here. And then we go over here. I have so many things in my auctions. 
I really have to go through and sell a bunch of this stuff. But if we go to Michael Malone, find him in the auction house, you'll see he goes for like 30. Okay, I thought he went for a bit more. I thought he went for like 50K, but 30K is definitely not bad, especially out of what was an unauctionable box. If the fact that we can actually sell a card from it for about 27K, I will definitely take that. So Michael Malone, let's put you up for 26,350. Let's go that. And then what? Well, we obviously pulled this Jerome Kersey too, who does go for about like 40K again, which I guess is nice. If that box was auctionable, we would have made about 100K from it. Unfortunately, it was unauctionable, but at least we did end up getting a diamond at the end of the day. I do wish it was Russell Westbrook. So then I could have sold this card because look at how many games I played with him, 145. And he's just so good. Obviously we didn't get LeBron either or this Will Chamberlain, but that was kind of expected to be honest. I'm just glad at least we got one diamond and we saw one full throttle player from that box. And I guess we also pulled Michael Malone too, which made us about 25,000 MT. Anyway, just for good luck, we got to open up one stealth mode pack. If we get a pink diamond, a pink diamond from this pack, I'll do it. I'll do a super pack box. I can't even speak. I literally can't even speak. What was that? But we get a Ruby. Is it a stealth mode player? Yes, it is. It's Willie Anderson. Actually not too bad from this box. This pack, I mean, what am I saying? I think I'm going a little bit insane, but we can send that to my auctions. Quick sell the rest. We can look at the team and we can go, yes, it looks great. Of course, we're not going to make any changes to the squad now that this is the end of the season. But now that we've got 120 wins in the showdown mode, I want to get one more on camera because we really didn't get much gameplay in this video. So anyway, let's get another win. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, this team isn't insane either. Man is not happy either. He's got 48 wins, so not too many, but uh, I feel like this might be a quick rage quit too. I ain't gonna lie. Man, I think he's rage quit already. What? Why could I not get games like this before? We've already got to quit. I've been playing all day today and this is the first time I've got two rage quits instantly. As soon as we press record when we actually want a full game. Anyway, I guess that's fine. Let's get into another game. Okay, this team is pretty good and he's in tier one. Okay, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for and this is the game that I was hoping to get on our 119th one to get the 120th win. But Greg Oden, we've done this every single game so far. I feel like this opponent could quit given that he just did that as well. And what a steal that is by Pascal Siakam. Come on, Pascal. Use that speed. Let's pick the ball up. Let's go up and get rejected. Okay. At least we got that steal. And that's really all that matters. So now, Manu, let's get the slam. I have actually found patch two super interesting too. Just the fact that shooting has been made, been made a little easier, which I don't know if that's helped me or made me worse. I actually don't know. But the one thing that has made me worse is the fact that I haven't been able to get as many steals because they have nerfed those just a little bit. But in good news, defense like that doesn't revol revolve around steals, but that's the type of shot that I'd usually leave open, allow my opponent to take. But nowadays you can't really do that as much because usually they hit those. They hit those types of shots, but we had actually Pascal wide open there. At least we've got our boy Manu, and we've got this Ja Morant getting us the lay again. Come on, squad. Come on, Ja. Let's just take this one all the way, and let's get that slam. Like, my issue is, in patch one, I just go for so many steals, because you didn't really get that, like, it wasn't really that much of a penalty if you didn't end up getting the steal, because they get in good positions, and you'd also have a much better chance to actually get the steal, but now he's Victor Oladipo, already has takeover in the first quarter, thanks to this new patch, that it makes it a bit more difficult for us to actually see how we go. Here we go with Bruce. He'll get that. It's a tied ball game at the end of the quarter. Definitely not our best game. Come on, Manu. Just hit that screen and then let's pass it back out to him. No, bro. That's good defense. He got out to that. But Pascal, take it all the way. At least we get that. And we get an inbound steal. Let's go up. We're going to the line. Definitely not playing the best, but hopefully when my bench comes on, we can play a bit better. Because trust me, when we bring up Russell Westbrook, he's just the X factor that we need. We finally get a steal in the 2-3 zone. That's what we're going for. And I'm looking at Jar this time. It's not the greatest of passes. We actually did have a wide open one there, but bro, this is not good. Why is my offense so bad whenever I record? I actually don't get it. It's just because I can't really see the open players. Jar again though. That's actually good defense. He's gonna, nah, he missed it. Okay, good. Finally, we play some good defense. Finally, we have the stop we were looking for. Finally, we have Bruce Bowen for the wide open three there. And we're very close to getting takeover too. We just can't have a turnover here. We have to just get one singular assist and that right there will be our takeover. There we go. That's the steal we needed too. Let's give it to Jar again. Jar back down to our boy Manu again. And this takeover makes Jar Morant be able to shoot from a lot deeper, which I'm actually excited for. So let's see how it goes this time. Or let's just take it against him. Like, should you be able to just beat him off the dribble? Or we should just be able to set a screen, get him under it, pull that shot, green it. Let's go. It's a steal. Let's go, Jar. You are way too good. Way too good. Does he expect me to take it all the way? 
he does, I guess. I got to complain with Jar being out the line again. Because I tell you what, with this card, we don't miss free throws. That's two of two. That's such good defense. Don't you dare make that. Yeah, that's tight contest too. Jar Moran, if we get a couple more assists with you, we are going to get takeover. Let's pass that one off. What a fast break. What do you think? Jar Moran again all the way. What a slam. It really does feel like I'm just doing a Jar Moran gameplay. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not complaining with it because this card is just way too good. And yeah, as it's patch two now, this is kind of what my, the way I play is. I just try and go until we get takeover with certain players like this Jar Moran. And that's the reason why he stays on the court for so long because he's got it again. And just like that, we got ourselves another rage quit. Yeah, I feel like that's enough gameplay for this video because what, we're now at like 123 wins or 22. I think 22. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. We completed the showdown mode. We got 120 wins. We made a bit of MT from the full throttle box. And we also pulled this Diamond Jerome Kersey. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, as I said, be sure to let me know if you open the box who you were able to pull. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.